Okay, so it's fine. All right, guys, so I've been away for a little while. I went out of town because I had some family stuff going on. So I missed two weeks of videos, and then today I'm going to be doing my, my this week's video. So um, if I remember correctly, um, the question that we had asked to us was basically how to cope with people not accepting you if you decide to um, publicly tell people that you um, have a out-of-the-box gender or sexual identity. Um, and basically, I feel like I'm just going to ride on the coattails of everybody else who has talked about it so far this week or two weeks ago. I'm sitting on a log outside because it's really nice out and I've been stuck at work. So, I want to be outside. So anyway, basically, I, I think labels are stupid. Um, if they help you in the long run, by all means, go for it. But I don't think that you should live by the label that you give yourself. You never want to feel like what you label yourself as is how it's always going to be because it's not. Um, well, and a lot of people, let's take sexual orientation for starters, a lot of people come out in kind of stages. Um, and I know for me, I did too. I came out as, as bi first, and then um, as I became more comfortable with that, slowly kind of came to terms with maybe I'm a lesbian. Ugh, that word feels so weird saying out loud. Um, so I came out as that after that because I became more comfortable in, in the first category. So I decided to, well maybe if I'm more comfortable with this, I can be more comfortable with the other ones. And so it kind of started to like ease into it. And I feel like a lot of people do that because it's, it's the easiest way to do it that way. Especially um, if you are living at home or you are reliant on other people around you for support financially or emotionally or anything like that. I feel like it's probably easier to do it that way um, to kind of give everybody a chance around you to kind of understand what's going on and have them have any questions if if they have them so for that that might be easier for some people to kind of ease into it and, and kind of like test the waters and see if this is really what you want and see how the people around you um, feel about it so I feel like maybe for some people that might be the best way or you can just be do whatever you want I, I don't feel like maybe this video isn't gonna make much sense but that labeling yourself is that big of a deal. Um, and it's not for anybody else except for you. Um, I go constantly at work and my family and friends redefining myself and what I want people to look at me as. Um, I go through phases where I want to be more of a boy or I'm okay with being androgynous and I'm okay with kind of falling somewhere in that middle category. And then sometimes I think about what if I wanted to transition? What if I'm okay like this? What if I want to grow my hair out? So, I mean, if you're okay with putting yourself into a box, by all means, go for it. I don't think that it's the best thing to do. My butt is sore like this. Um, I don't necessarily think it's, it's the best route. Um, but if it helps you and if you feel more solidified in yourself by putting a, a word to it, um, I know that definitely helps some people. Um, I mean, when I figured out what genderqueer was and that I, I could fall into some middle category, that definitely helped a lot. Um, knowing that I could kind of waver on this, this line of gray area. But when it all comes down to it, it's, it's ultimately up to you. It's not anybody else's decision. It's not about if your brother and sister are comfortable. It's not about if your parents are comfortable. It's about what makes you happy at the end of the day. And if you are old enough where you can pick and choose who you want to be a part of your life and what matters and what doesn't, and who matters and what doesn't to you, um, by all means, just do what makes you happy because of the like life's too short to appease other people, um, especially with minute things like this that are constantly in flux and constantly changing as life goes on and different things are introduced to us. So if it's an issue for you now, it won't always be. Um, 
and if it's an issue for other people now it won't always be either people come around to it and time goes by and i think that's a really awesome thing that nothing is ever set in stone so um again i'm not really saying anything that anybody else hasn't already said but um i think that's definitely kind of the best way to go about it is, is labels are sometimes an easier way to kind of get to where you want to be but it's not necessarily a, a permanent confining thing to to live by so i hope I feel like I just rambled a lot about this. It's been a rough week, guys. Sorry. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask um, here on, on YouTube or on my personal Tumblr or on the uh, the Generals Are Dead Tumblr. Everybody else, good job for covering all the points that I wanted to cover because I didn't feel like I contributed anything else. But yeah, um, hopefully you guys liked this video and you watch all the other ones and watch everybody else's videos. So yeah, uh, see you later, guys.